In some videos, I've seen comments recommending the Morfolio Trace app, so I'm going to see what tools it has and how I can use it. Let's use the blank template. Here we have the layers panel. Creating a new layer is like putting tracing paper on top of another tracing paper. This button is for importing many things. Pictures from your library, new photos, pictures from the cloud, and other templates. At the right, it is the pen panel where it is possible to configure your preferred drawing brushes. You can set all to be the same drawing tools and with different sizes. At the right bottom corner, there is the scale reference, but right now it is in imperial system. I prefer the metric system. What about you? Leave a comment below saying if you prefer the imperial or the metric system. Look, the layers aren't set to the same size. Their size depends on how much zoom and rotation you have on the canvas. This can be very useful for drawing details in certain areas. At the top, there is the rest of the tools. The first icon directs us to the project gallery. The second works like a preview window. Then it is the support icon. After that, there are the project settings, where you can change the units. I'll change it to the metric system. In this window, there are more things to change, like turning on the option for a time-lapse recording. The fifth icon, I guess, it is the selection tool. Next to that, it is the input. Then it is the view in AR. I'd like to test that with a floor plan for a future video. The next icon is the bucket tool to fill a closed area. You can change the color, the hatch, its scale, and it can show the area measurements. Another tool is the perspective grid. It can be set in one point perspective, two point perspective, or three point perspective. Also, you have this guide to preview where you can draw the next line. Ah, oh, here I tried drawing in three point perspective, but I was very confused. I have to admit that I haven't been drawing lately, so. Maybe I'm losing my skills. In this app, there is also a ruler. You can rotate it and draw straight lines in any angle you want. Adding to that, there is also a square ruler, which is very useful. Its angle can be set to any angle, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, or even something like 39 degrees. Next to those rulers is the protractor. Perfect for drawing arcs and circles. 
the only problem I found for this tool is that I wasn't able to reset it to a, to a circle after changing it to an oval. Finally, my favorite part, the stencils. And it has so many of them, trees, in top view and front view, people, furniture, cars, and many others. Now to try the app I have to draw something, so I'll start with, so I'll draw something in two point perspective and I really have to start practicing again because just at the beginning perspective is already wrong and it took me a lot of minutes to figure out why it was wrong. Okay, I leave the drawing like this. For the next video, I'll draw a floor plan. What else can I say? Well, I like using this app. It has a lot of very useful tools. But I think where it shines is when you use it for drawing floor plans. Also, I want to see how the augmented reality works in this application. But that's for the next video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see a video about a particular topic, Leave a comment. Thanks for watching.